we are picking up this 2018 Beneteau Barracuda 6 today fitted with a Suzuki 115 horsepower four stroke engine it has 95 hours on the clock and it's being sold as a stock boat with warranty we're taking the opportunity now while the boat is in, still in the water today to shoot a sea trail video so we're going to run the boat on the water put it through its paces and show you exactly how this Beneteau Barracuda 6 performs with that 115 horsepower Suzuki on the transom Start the engine up, show you how the engine starts. We've got a Suzuki digital instrument. I'll let that turn on so we've got it set up at the moment. We'll go through all the functions whenever we're out on the water, but we've got 95 hours on the clock, just over half a tank of fuel. Just make sure that the uh, safety lanyard is attached. Shift lever has to be in neutral. And turn the key. Obviously the engine has to be trimmed down as well, which this one is. Super quiet at idle, this boat. Just a wee increases the revs very slightly as it starts and then it slows back down. You can hardly even know the engine's running, but let's go and have a wee look at the telltale. I always want to make sure the telltale's running, but I mean, with 95 hours on the clock, this engine's barely even running. So starting on the button. So let's uh, head out here. Okay, so we're out on the water and it's actually pretty windy out here today and pretty choppy. We've got some you know, white caps on top of the waves here. So it's going to be a pretty good test for this little Barracuda 6. Um, definitely a really short, steep chop as well. So probably not the most ideal conditions for the sea trail, not the most comfortable to run in, but as I said, a good test for the boat. So briefly walk you through the dash. We'll cover this in more detail on our showroom tour anyway. But we've got a Lowrance GP GPS chart plotter here, touchscreen unit, HDS7. So we've got our depth of water here, fish finder function, and we've got our uh, GPS speed up here. So those, that, that's the number there we're gonna pay attention to in the sea trail. So we're just tooling along at idle speed and uh, three knots. And then we'll go through the, uh, I'm bucket and bronco here today. Tell you what, we'll run through that stuff when we're back in harbour because it's definitely a bit too choppy to get you a good steady shot. So let's just get the boat underway. We'll put it up on plane, run it at uh, cruising speed, around three and a half thousand RPM, four thousand RPM, and we'll do a full speed run as well, or we'll, we'll try our best to. Gear shift is nice and balanced, forward, neutral, and reverse. Trim the engine down, we'll put the boat up on plane here. Visibility is really good around this boat, actually. Um, and obviously having side door here is excellent too. You can stick your head out and have a look around. So let's go. So up on plane. So we're up on plane quickly. We don't lose sight of the horizon. At uh, 4,000 RPM, we're running at about 14, 15 knots. So we're nicely on the plane. Let's have a look at our fuel flow. We're burning around about 17 litres, 16 litres of fuel per hour at that speed. That's us running with the waves. So let's Solid, the whole solid, throwing the spray pretty clear. 
Um, it is a good little sea boat, but we're doing about 25 knots at 5,800 RPM. So that's your max speed is around about 25 knots. On a nice day with the engine trimmed out, you might get 26 or 27 knots. Also, the bottom needs a clean because it's been in the water for a few months. So probably will get it up there to maybe 27, 28 knots. There you go, 2018 Benetton Warwick of the 6 with a Suzuki 115. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it useful.